Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we talked about permission inheritance. We learned what is permission inheritance, how it works. We learned how to break permission inheritance on the site level. We talked about how to assign unique permissions on the site level and how to assign unique permissions on document library and on a site list. In this particular video, we are going to learn how to break permission inheritance between a document library and the files and folders within the document library. We will also learn how to assign unique permissions on the files and folders level. Sometimes you can come across a scenario where you want to assign unique permission on the file and folder. In this document library, we have few files and we have folders. And by default, all the users who have permissions on the site level, they have access to this document library as well. If I click on members on the top right, I can see concepts user who is currently logged in is the owner of this site. Bob Ross and Peter Smith are members of this site. And apart from this owner and these two members, if I go to settings, site permissions, and under site visitors, we have team one user as well, who has read permission on the site level. He can view the site, he can open the document library, and he can open the documents as well. Though he can open the documents in read-only view, but still he can open it. Now in a document library, we can have confidential documents as well. And we do not want everyone to have access on these documents. For example, let's assume this sales folder has confidential documents. And I do not want the members or the visitors of this site to have any access to sales folder. Only the owners of this site should have access to this folder and the files within this folder. Now, if I go to settings and go to library settings, more library settings, and permissions for this document library. So it says this library inherits permissions from its parent. That means as of now, this particular document library has the same level of permissions. Those are assigned on the site level. This document library is inheriting the site permissions. And I have a user logged in on another browser, Peter Smith, who has added permission on this site, O365. So he can view the site, he can go to document library, and within document library, he can access the folder, and he can even open the files as well. But my requirement is, only the site owners should have access to the sales folder and the files inside that folder. So let's go back to SharePoint site and let's click documents library. So there are two ways to achieve this. The first way is we will right click or you can click three dots next to the folder and go to manage access and click groups. Now here you can see the same groups. Those are added on the document library permissions and the same groups are showing under this particular folder permissions. So I do not want all the members of this site to have any permission on this folder and I do not want the site visitors also in this permission. So what we can do, click on the site members group, expand direct access, click can edit and click remove direct access. Click remove. So the site members group is removed and we will do the same thing for site visitors group. Click on the group, expand direct access, click can view and click remove direct access. Click remove. So now the site members and the site visitors do not have any permission on this folder. Let's close this. And if you go to settings, library settings, more library settings, permissions for this document library. Now you see a message here. Some items of this list may have unique permissions 
which are not controlled from this page. If you click show these items, we can see sales folder has unique permissions. Click on manage permissions. And here we can see only one group that is site owners. We do not see site visitors or the site members. So now only the site owners have access to this particular folder. And if you go back to the other browser and let's refresh, go back to documents, we do not see sales folder here. Let's go back to SharePoint site and let me re add the permissions. Let's go back to documents and right click or click three dots, manage access, click groups, click plus. And let's add members and visitors group. So I'll assign edit permission to members. And we will do the same thing for the site visitors groups. Add site name and visitors. And this will have view only permission. So click grant access. And that's it. Let's go back to the other browser. Click refresh. And now Peter Smith can see the sales folder and he can see all the files within this folder. Now let me show you the other way to assign unique permissions on a folder. Let's go back to SharePoint site and click three dots. Click manage access. And you see three dots at the top click go to advanced settings here you will see all the permissions those are assigned on this folder level and it says this folder has unique permissions because we have already broken the permission inheritance on this folder so if you want to remove all the users except owners select the group and click remove user permissions click ok and we will do the same thing for visitors remove user permissions okay and let's go back to peter smith refresh so peter doesn't has access to this folder now now let me make it bit complicated let's go back to document library and click grant permissions let me re-add the permissions so here i'll add peter smith and i'll give him edit permission and click share and let's refresh the page so he can see the sales folder and he can see all the files so now the owners and peter smith has permission on that particular folder but let's assume i have a confidential document inside sales folder let's say this one confidential so i do not want anyone apart from the site owners to have access to this particular document. Site members or the site visitors or any other user with any other permission level can view or access the sales folder. They can access the other documents within the sales folder and they can access the other folders within this document library, but only the site owners should have access to this particular document. So to achieve this, we will right click the document manage access and click groups but we do not see peter smith here because we did not add peter smith in a site group we gave individual permission to peter smith on this particular folder so if i click people here we can see peter smith has edit permission and we have bob ross also who has honor permission on this particular file and the folder so like i said I want to remove everyone from this file except owners of this site. So I'll click Peter Smith, expand direct access, click can edit, and I can click remove direct access, and the access from Peter Smith will be removed from this particular file. Or you can go back, click three dots, advanced settings, but here it says this document inherits permissions from its parent sales. That means the level of permissions those are assigned on the sales folder 
this particular document is using the same permissions. So here we need to break this permission inheritance. Also, I cannot select Peter Smith and I do not see the option to edit permission level or to remove permission level. So to break inheritance between the folder and the file, we will click stop inheriting permissions. Make sure you are within the files permissions. Click stop inheriting permissions. Click OK. And now we have two options, edit user permissions, remove user permissions, and I can select Peter Smith as well. So I'll remove Peter Smith. So I'll select the account, click remove user permissions and click OK. So now only the site owners have permission on this particular file. And if I go back to Peter Smith and refresh, Peter Smith doesn't has any access to confidential document. He can't even see that document, but he still has access to the documents. He can see the folders. He can see the files. He can see the sales folder, but he can't see confidential document. So this is how we can assign unique permissions on the files and folders level. So that is all for today. If you learned something new from this particular video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.